Welcome to another Olympiad math video. In this video, we are solving for A and B. The equation we got is 4 to the power of A minus 36 to the power of B is equal to 28. As always, please subscribe so I can keep making videos and like the video because that is important. So the first thing we are going to do is we're going to change 4 and 36 into um, 2 to their respective powers. So 4 will end up being 2 squared and 36 will be 6 squared. Now why we want to do that you'll see in a minute. So why don't we, why don't we just keep going here? So we're going to apply some exponent properties here. So if you had a to the power m to the power n, that would be equivalent to a to the power of m times n, which you could also flip around and say that it's equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. All those n and m's are, they are annoying to say, but basically we can switch our exponents in this situation. So what we'll have then is we'll have 2 to the power of a squared minus 6 to the power of b squared, all again equal to 28. Now we've set ourselves up in a great situation to solve this because now we can use a wonderful algebra principle. So if we had x squared minus y squared, that's equal to x plus y times x minus y. Now, in this situation, our 2 to the power of a would be our x, and our 6 to the power of b would be our y. So let's go ahead and rewrite this equation to reflect that. So we'll have 2a plus 6 to the power of b times 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b equals 28. So now what we can do, since we have two little equations multiplying by each other, if we factor out 28 and figure out those factors, we can solve for these each side accordingly. So let's just walk through that. So the first factor 28 would be one and 28. Now, you might wanna argue that you could also say 28 times one instead of 1 times 28. But we can't do that in this situation because the left side, our 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b, is always going to be greater than our 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b. And that's always going to be greater be simply due to addition. And so our... Basically, in some instances, we can say that this e 28 can be broken out as 1 times 28 and 28 times 1. But we can't do that this time. So let's work through our others. We got 2 times 14 and 4 times 7. So those are all the factors of 28. Now something we need to consider here is that since all the numbers we have in this situation, 2 and 6, are both even numbers, Putting it to a certain exponent will never give us an odd number. So therefore, if we set 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b equal to 7, for example, we won't find a solution. So, since both sides are even, that means that 1 and 28 can't be an option, and 4 and 7 cannot be an option which means that 2 and 14 is our only option. Now, since we previously agreed that 2 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of b will be greater than the other side, we will set the positive, the plus side, equal to 14, and the negative side equal to 2. So that'll look like this. Now we can go ahead and solve for our a and b. So just by looking at this and thinking about it, you're looking at the 2 to the power of a minus 6 to the power of b equal to 2. 
we know that a has to be a value that makes 2 larger than 6. So let's say that a is equal to 3. If a is equal to 3, if we plugged in 3 for the top equation, 2 to the power of 3 is 8, minus 6 to the power of what gives us 2? So 8 minus 6 is equal to 2. So in this instance, b would have to be 1. So let's check our second equation to fact check that. So if we had 2 to the power of 3, that would be 8 plus what equals 14? 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. So in this case, b would also be 1. So that means a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 1. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and please stay tuned for more videos. And if you like this video, please hit the like button.